It's true. I get very depressed sometimes, but it is it is wonderful to to hear that perhaps we can draw on on our history and have hope for the future. John Rothman, host of Around the Political World with John Rothman, please listen to it on your podcast platform of choice. John, all the best to you. Uh, look forward to talking again next Monday. I can't wait. Hopefully the world will be a better place, Bill. Well, thank you. Up next, I'm going to subject you to a story about Elon Musk. I'm sorry, but this one is too good to pass up. Elon Musk, I know. I know you don't really want to hear anything more about Elon Musk, but this this is just too good to pass up. Billionaire Elon Musk has offered... <laughs> the, I'm not sure whether he's the richest man in the world or the second richest man in the world, but you know he's in that category. Um, and this is the level of maturity that the most powerful person or one of the most powerful people in the world is at. Billionaire Elon Musk offered Wikipedia the free online encyclopedia, $1 billion under the condition that it changes its name to Dickopedia. Yes, yes, the owner of X, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, offered in a post on his site this deal. He had previously posted a screenshot of a personal appeal from Wikipedia co-founder Jimmy Wales that the website is not for sale. I will give them a billion dollars if they change their name to Dickopedia, Musk wrote. Please add that to the cow and poop emojis on my wiki page, he continued in another post. Um, what we know about Elon Musk is that unless he is legally forced to, he will often say things that he does not mean. So in addition to the fact that this offer has already at this point been rejected by Wikipedia and ignoring the fact that it's a childish, immature, puerile proposal, he wouldn't follow through on it unless the court made him because he didn't even want to follow through on buying Twitter to begin with. He was legally forced to do it because he had made the offer in such a way that he was hooked into it already. But what would you expect from a man at this level of maturity? Elon Musk, another reason why there shouldn't be billionaires. I want to thank you for listening today, and I want to thank our producers, Ace Elson and Rosabelle Hine, for creating this program in so many different ways. And if you would like to call the show, you can do so at 202-656-6271. Go to facepalmamerica.com to listen to past episodes of the show. Share this with a friend. Share it with a friend. Share it with a friend, please. It helps what we do. And until next time, enjoy the day.